Morning. I got a song here and I'm working on a solo. Um, I wanted to talk about this before I show you the clip. Um, so when you're coming up with an intro hook for a song, often that's the guitar player's job, right? I mean, I, and I'm, I'm talking to all of you who play in a band and if you play on records and play sessions, I'm speaking to you as well, also, obviously. Um, sometimes your intro hook, if you just come up with it at the very top and haven't listened to the turnaround, it might not quite work when you get to the turn. And I'll tell you why. Um, the vocal at the end of the chorus, typically in popular music, and I'm using that as an umbrella term encompassing country, rock, Americana, you know, straight pop, R&B, um, anything that's on Billboard or Spotify or iTunes charts or media base, you know, typically the most important vocal, especially in country music, this is very much a, a country thing for sure. Typically that most important vocal of the entire song comes at the end of the chorus, right? It's the vocal hook. It's what wraps up the chorus. It's what helps us reset into the turnaround. The turnaround is when we go back to what we had in the intro and that helps us get into verse two, right? So people call that the channel or a re-intro or the turn for short. I typically say the turn when I'm on a session. Um, so when you come back around to the turn and you start playing your intro part right on the downbeat of the turn like you did on the downbeat of the intro, sometimes the vocal's hanging over there and there's a bit of a no-no <laughs> that happens with you playing over the vocal. So what I want you to notice in this clip is that what I do is I show you what my turnaround lick is and then I show you how I use that to play a solo. And the point is that my turnaround doesn't start, my lick doesn't start on the downbeat of the turn. And that's because the vocal hangs over a little bit. So even in the intro, it's not starting on the downbeat of the turn. I have looked ahead to see what will work at the turnaround before I come up with my intro part. And again, this is, I don't know, I feel like it's, at this point, it's like ultra common sense, you know, like, well, of course. But it took a long time for me to get to this place where that's my thought process and that's what I'm listening to, you know. So again, I think it's helpful for people in bands um, trying to write your own music. Uh, if you if you are playing in studios somewhere, I think it's very helpful. You'll notice in the clip that the vocal, you almost can't hear it. And that's intentional. I'm, I'm trying to show how I work without uh, giving away artists' tracks before they release them, right? And this is an indie song, and I, I don't know, you know, what... I don't even know the artist's name, <laughs> to be honest. I just work with the producer, and he wanted me to throw a bunch of guitars on this song and uh, gave me just free reign, basically. Um, but you'll notice that when I go to the solo, I play my turnaround lick, and then I wait a second, and then I go back to the turn and then it sort of veers off into the solo. This is helpful for a few different reasons, right? One, I'm out of the way at the end of the chorus, the vocal hook. Two, after chorus two, um, singers tend to uh, tag their vocal hook, meaning they do it again, uh, like a bar or two later. So you're kind of in and then you're out and then you're back in. And when you're in and you're in for good, that's when it can veer off into the solo. So that's what I do here. And on my last take, um, I actually stay in and play around the vocal. And again, it's hard to hear. And, you know, that's just the parameters that I have to work in, I feel. So enjoy. Hope you're having a great day. I'll see you soon. I need to play a solo, but the singer is singing kind of in that section. And so I'm going to start with the turnaround hook that I came up with because that works around the vocal tag at the end of chorus one. So it can work at the vocal tag around at the end of chorus two, and then I can veer off from there into a solo solo, right? So here's the vocal, here's the turnaround lick that I have. Cool. Right.
out of the way for verse 2, right? I'm playing my Jazz Master, my Danicaster Jazz Master. This is as bone stock as when I got it. Actually, that's not true. I put a Descendant tailpiece and a Descendant bridge on it, and it's awesome, and I love it. I love this stuff. Uh, I'm running into the Tilt Overdrive and the Nordland, and then I have a little bit of timeline delay. You just hear it sort of. And then um, the Mercury, I'm on the Cathedral setting, kind of a lower setting, so it doesn't last forever. Going into my Analog Outfitter Sarge into a Morgan 112, so there we go. up. Awesome. I'm good with that. I like that it kind of stays in the last chorus and plays around the vocal. Uh, cool. I'll see y'all later.